Welcome to another Lightroom Quick Edit. Today I've got a bit of a different image. This is just sand, but all of the waves and the water made this really cool textures as well as these shells and these random spots of some water left really make this a kind of a cool picture that almost looks abstract. Now let me just try and see how this looks in black and white. Now I do like the black and the white version, but color just works a bit better for me. I'm really trying to give this a kind of a golden glow from the sand. So first thing, definitely gonna increase the contrast a lot for this photo, because I really think it looks way too flat like this. And then let's see the blacks. This kind of almost makes uh, the most part of the picture a bit too dark, so I don't think I'm gonna bring down the blacks all that much here. Maybe just a little bit. The highlights. This really is totally different than any of normal landscape that I usually edit, so I'm not using my regular workflow here either. I think I'm just gonna leave the highlights around zero. And shadows. I do think bringing up the shadows works for this photo. Kinda even it's it out a little bit more. And to the whites. Now usually I would bring the whites to the right until they clip, but for this picture that is just way too bright. So let me just try and bring them up a little bit, maybe like plus 11. And let's see, clarity should be quite interesting here. Actually I don't think I'm going to add any clarity in the overall picture, but I, what I will do is just grab a graduated filter, reset everything here, and just drag it over the foreground and introduce some clarity in the foreground, because I really like the idea of the foreground being very, you know, textured and a lot of clarity and the background to be kind of washed out almost. and really not that sharp and not very much clarity in it. So I do like this, let's see, vibrant. I mean that kind of overdoes it almost, maybe just a tad bit of plus vibrance. And to the tonal curve, a bit of plus highlight definitely works here and to the rest of the sliders, really have no idea. I think I'm gonna leave that at zero, darks, I mean, I do like the texture, but it just makes everything a bit too dark. Maybe just a tad bit of minus. And shadows. Yeah, maybe a little bit of minus there too. So I think there's just a little bit of um, dynamic missing in the picture. So I'm just gonna grab a bunch of graduated filter. The first over the top right corner of the image here. And just bring up the exposure a little bit. So we get a little bit more dynamic in the entire picture, then make a new one just for the very bottom here. Something like this. And then I'm gonna introduce some plus clarity even more than I did before. And some plus sharpening as well. So you can see the foreground really is super sharp, going to kind of medium sharp. And going to kind of bright and almost washed out towards the background. So I do like this and maybe the overall exposure is a bit too dark actually, just a tad bit too dark. Yeah I do like this. Let's see if I want to add any vignetting here, I'm really not sure for this kind of picture. Let's just play around with these different settings on vignetting and hmm, here's at zero. Here's with a little bit of vignetting. I mean, oh, maybe like minus five works a bit better than zero, but it really isn't that big of a deal here. Let's see, maybe I want to add a little bit more plus sharpening for the overall picture though. I really don't think any masking is needed here because I really want sh everything sharpened in the image. It's really nothing I don't want sharpened. And yeah, that looks pretty good. Let me check this out in black and white again. Color, black and white. Ah, uh, I mean both work. I think I almost like what black and white better now, just because we have the texture 
and the sharpness of the sand is even more pronounced rather than being distracted by the additional element of color and I don't think color works that right for the picture afterwards. I really thought the kind of golden glow of the sun would add to the picture, but I think black and white makes it even more simple, and for this kind of abstract picture, I do think it works better. So, as always, let's see where we start at. Here's the picture from the start, and here's it in black and white without any adjustments, and here's it in black and white with adjustments. So we just brought out some more of the texture in the picture. Keep in mind that this isn't one of the best pictures, that's why I edit it in a 5 minute edit and don't give it all the time in the world and go to every single adjustment. I really just wanted to see how it would look like after some editing and bringing out the texture a little bit more. I really can appreciate these um, highlight parts and the shadow parts even more in black and white. Well, let me know in the comments down below if you like the color or the black and white version better. Anyways, thank you very much for watching and of course, Take care. And of course keep in mind that it keep in mind that it keep in mind that this isn't one of the best pictures.